Now to the discovery on Mars that has the scientific world just buzzing. Last week, NASA announced that its Mars rover Perseverance uncovered rocks in a dry river channel on the red planet that may hold potential signs of ancient microscopic life. Mm. This is huge, and we science geeks are really buzzing out over this. The rover collected yes. a sample from a Martian rock with kind of leopard-like, leopard-shaped, detailed spots yeah. on it. Now, scientists say those spots have been made by the previous existence of ancient life. Wow. After a, a year of review, uh, they've come back and they said, listen, we can't find another explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars. But they stress that in-depth analysis is needed mm -hmm. of this sample before they can reach that conclusion. Still, though, it is extremely exciting. So joining us now with more is Joel Hurwitz, a professor of geosciences at Stony Brook University and a member of the Perseverance Science team. Good morning, Professor Hurwitz. Thank you so much. Um, we have questions, lots of questions. Um, <laughs> He's like ready. I'm let's ready. start off with um, the, the fact that you've called this the most compelling evidence for potential ancient life on Mars that you've seen in over two decades. So what exactly did Perseverance find? Yeah, so what Perseverance found is a set of mudstones that were deposited at the bottom of the lake on Mars probably somewhere between three and four billion years ago. Mm -hmm. And these mudstones contain textures, those leopard spots you talked about before, uh, that contain minerals that seem to have formed as a result of chemical reactions that took place in that mud when it was on the bottom of the lake. Mm. And those types of chemical reactions that make those textures and minerals that we observe are oftentimes the byproduct of the activity of microbes that are living in that sediment. And so we're really excited about the possibility that wow. these rocks may contain signs of ancient microbial life on Mars. Yeah, but yeah. We, Oh yeah, go ahead. No, no, but I, I was just, at, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to know what was, what, why was this significant to the research? You know, these poppy seeds, leopard spots looking things. Why is this significant? Yeah, those are the visible textures that we, that sort of first gave us a clue that something really interesting had happened in these rocks when they were being deposited. Uh, and then the sort of subsequent analyses that we conducted with the rover confirmed that those textures contained the minerals that you would expect to see occurring as a as a result of these of, of chemical reactions happening in the mud that again at least if we were to look at these things in similar muds on earth yeah the, one of the first explanations you might have would be oh i i wonder if microbes created those textures mm. in those minerals. so first of all congratulations that perseverance is able to do this kind of detailed work right yeah. it went up a while ago it's taken a long time to get where it is and so i'm kind of amazed at the quality of information that we can get out of it but th so w if we look at earth science which you were just talking about these microorganisms that may have been there to create these patterns on this like mud surface rock, we would have thought that it was organic matter. But but let me ask you, could it have been a wind pattern? Could it have been a heat signature? Is there, when we're looking at this, are we investigating other possibilities too? A absolutely, yeah. It, it, one of the things that we need to do is rule out the other possibilities. And with the rover payload, we were able to take some steps towards trying to understand whether there are you know, non-biological pathways that could have produced these features. And I would say that you know, some of those pathways have some, some, some pop problems that, mm -hmm. uh, that we, we weren't able to completely rule out. Um, but really what it's gonna require is additional laboratory research here yeah. on Earth research in field settings on Earth and, and ultimately the return of that sample that we collected oh, yeah. uh, to, to laboratories here on Earth so that we can make that determination more confidently. Well, we certainly hope that happens, right? We hope that you guys get access to those samples. Um, and when you do, um, and it does turn out to be ancient life on Mars, what does that mean for us and the universe as a whole? That's a great question. I, you know, if it does turn out that, that these features were formed by something living on Mars oh. billions of years ago, then then it really, to my mind, it, it opens up the possibilities 
for life on other planets in the solar system, other mm -hmm. moons in the solar system, other worlds outside of the solar system. It, it might mean that, that life can get a start just about anywhere where the conditions are, are right. And that would be a, a really exciting finding to know that you know, per, perhaps, you know, there's more than one example of, of life in the universe. Yeah, it's that whole sweet spot idea that you have to get that perfect condition and the perfect direction from the sun and all the things have to work to find life like this. It is exciting, it oh, really man. is. Oh man, really, really is. And I know you're super excited, super stoked. <laughs> You'll come back once we, once we get to investigate this a little further. Professor Joel Hurwitz from Stony Brook University, thank you again.